Apostle Joshua Selman explains one major reason he has yet to marry any sister yet. He was speaking at a function some time ago on the depth of holiness where he said, some persons were discussing me somewhere and one of the ladies during the discussion said, this person, ah, ah, with all these beautiful girls in Koinonia, how is he even coping? Apostle Selman went on to respond that he is doing very, very fine in spirit and in health, that he intends to continue with God for a very, very long time, and that is his personal decision between him and his God. Some people were discussing me somewhere, and uh, I got to hear, of course, and one of the ladies said, ah, this person, you mean... There are all these beautiful girls in Koinonia. How is he doing? Let me tell you how I'm doing. I'm very fine. Very fine. Very fine. Healthy in the spirit. Very fine. I intend to continue with God for a long time. I decided that from the start of the journey. He continued that most times we are afraid of the consequences that firm decision brings. We know that it will force us to let go of some nice things in our lives, but we still want to enjoy the perks of sinful liberty. When you decide to be holy unto God, it will take a lot from you. You will not have to continue doing the things you used to do before. It will mean that you will need to delete that person's phone number. It will mean that you will need to always speak the truth even when you are at gunpoint. It will mean that you cannot steal any man's food even if you are very hungry. Listen, if we allow the spirit of holiness to leave our territory, we will never experience the fullness of God. Let's not mock God. The key to unholiness is carelessness. The Bible said, Lot settled near Sodom. That closeness to Sodom almost killed him and his family. Please, don't feel condemned. The goal here is not to condemn you, but to create conviction by the power of the Holy Ghost. Holiness and power go hand in hand. If we want miracles, signs and wonders from God upon our life, then True holiness must be our watchword. Please, let's lay our hands on our head and say, Lord, restore to my life the true holiness. Pray, pray, say, Lord, I will not go back to my sinful ways again. I receive grace to live a holy life. It is not by the strength of the flesh. Help me, O Lord, that in lifestyle, in conversation, in my career, in school, and everything about my life will carry a presence of holiness that compels the flesh to die off from my life. Help me, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.